Studies over the years have shown that mothers are experiencing some changes to their brains, but now a new research shows that fathers also experience a degree of change to their gray matter. Researchers from the Carlos III Health Institute in Madrid, Spain, have found that first-time dads may actually lose between 1 to 2 percent of their brain's cortical volume following the birth of the first child. We're now joined by Magdalena Martinez Garcia, who's a neuroscientist at the Gregorio Marañón Hospital in Madrid. Thank you very much for being with us. You conducted the, the research, and I, I have to say that it's a pleasure to speak to you because I've been sending it to a few people over the weekend, and I got so many different replies. I sent it to my brother-in-law yesterday. He said that what you didn't mention is that the heart grows by at least 20%. Well, thank you for, for having me. Yeah, um, I conducted the, the study in collaboration with the University of Southern California. We tracked changes in both uh, Californian fathers and Spanish fathers, and we found this same uh, shrinkage in both of them. But we actually interpret these changes as a neural specialization rather than something negative, actually. So, okay, let's discuss that. If it's not negative, then what is it? Because the headlines out of the, came out of this research was that the brain shrinks by one to 2%, and anyone who reads that would be alarmed. Uh, a father to be like myself, maybe. Nothing in the horizon just yet, but you know, we're, we're planning. Um, so what do you mean when you say it's not necessarily negative? What I mean is that in terms of neuroplasticity, um, a reduction in brain volume might not be a negative thing. Um, during brain development and adolescence, there are also brain reductions that are associated with um, positive behavioral outcomes. And we, are, we, we hypothesize that something similar happens during parenthood, both in mothers and fathers. So there are a lot of cognitive challenges ahead and your brain is remodeling and like fine tuning some areas to display a better performance. So does that happen in other scenarios in life as well, other than motherhood and fatherhood? This instance where the brain uh, recalibrates and reforms? Yes, during adolescence, there is a well-described, um, what it, it, it's called a synaptic pruning. Um, it's, a fine, it's a fine tuning of the brain. Uh, so synapses and other cells that are not necessary are pruned, and the ones that are uh, needed are strengthened. Um, so yeah, in adolescence, um, we also see these uh, brain volume reductions um, that are associated with something positive. Now let's talk, very interesting, now let's talk about the area in which these reductions uh, have been found in your research. What's, what's in there? <laughs> What, 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 what is that area responsible for? We've seen that the most pronounced changes in fathers were found in areas that are associated with um, goal-directed attention and also mentalizing, which is the human ability to empathize with other human beings and understand their needs. Um, so in, in, in terms of parenthood, we interpret these brain areas are those that are implicated with, you know, like fathers are um, always, um, you know, they, they have to, to be really engaged in what the, the baby is doing. And they are all the time trying to infer what uh, the baby needs um, to, to give the baby what, what he needs or she needs. So those are the two main um, brain networks that we are finding remodeled um, during parenthood. Wait, so I want to make sure that I understand. So because we're engaged with the baby, we have less empathy towards other people? Or we have less room for empathy towards other people? No, sorry. Um, what I mean is that we we have more empathy towards the baby. It's a empathy that is directed towards uh, the baby. And I'm, I'm always thinking about 
uh, increased empathy, not not decreased empathy. Okay, so where does the reduction come? What, what what sort of areas were reduced in activity, or is it just the volume and the activity is not reduced? Yeah, what I what, what I was trying to explain like, uh, before is that in the brain, when you have a reduction, a neural reduction, it could mean that the circuits are specializing and some neurons maybe um, are being pruned uh, and others are being reinforced. Mm -hmm. um, the neural mechanisms are actually we, we cannot um, we, we cannot know them based on our study. They are just hypotheses, but I'm just trying to explain what what it might be like. Um, so you have a brain reduction that translates into a specialization of that brain area. So if we are if 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 we find reductions in specific areas, it means, or our hypothesis is, is that it means that those areas are specializing, are displaying a better performance. Fascinating. Better empathy in this case. That's fascinating. Uh, Magdalena Martinez Garcia uh, in Madrid, thank you very much uh, for joining us today.